Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Underrail Expedition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today in gaining experience. That's mostly what we are doing. Also being blown up, or bitten, or killed. M m a lot killed. Uh, we are in what the game described as the Rat Hound King Lair. Or, if you reverse that, the Lair of the King of the Rat Hounds. Could also be the Rat Hound King, not in the sense that he's the king of the rat hounds, just a king of something, but he's a rat hound. Ow. That's what I get for being pedantic. So, uh, yes, there's a lot of traps down here, and uh, Carrie, our character, she can't see any of them. She's very bad at this. Uh, and, uh, fortunately, we are carrying a lot of healing kits, or healing items, so I can just splurge on that, and that is great. Oh, there's a ladder. Mm, I don't want to step in mines if I don't need to. There's one type of mines around here that are that are really nasty. The not those. So there's nothing here? Okay. Um the ones that um the ones that get us stuck. These, right. Okay. I don't yeah. I do want to go upstairs cuz uh, I want to make sure that thing gets marked on the map so that I can easily tell I have been there, but all the fog of war doesn't need to be dissipated. So it came from down there. Let's go here. Just as a safety precaution, I'm gonna throw a fireball. I got hit. Oh, I'm regenerating. Fantastic. I wasn't expecting to get hit, but uh, that's how that is. Which that basically means the mine was very close to me. I think that's what it means. Ugh. Come on. I was regenerating. I guess I'll, I'll stick to this one. Yeah, that's burrow or poison. It gets me I think No, is it death stalker poison? That one is also really bad. Does a lot of damage. Got a ladder. Okay. Place with no traps? Well, it was a dead end, so in and of itself, it was a trap already. So I can take another one. And regenerate. I'm at, I'm, I am at maximum speed, so that regeneration... In the uh, When I played the game for the first time, I used that regeneration sort of as a... Uh, I, well, I didn't need to be at maximum health for the most part, but sort of more of a, as a backup health healing than anything else, really. Um, I remember just going around, taking every so slight amounts of damage on certain areas obviously because other areas would just murder me immediately uh, and just sort of relying on on the uh, regeneration to be topped up on health and taking chip damage but that's for a gunslinger that's the first character I played I think I say gunslinger I think the uh, originally what I meant to play as was a uh, sniper uh, I hate that I hate that one so much but then eventually, I think I relied on a uh, assault rifle. I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh, there's a ladder. Okay. But with traps, it's not reliable to do that. Okay. I'll buy. I'll buy more. I have some more. Some more uh, healing items stowed away, but not hypos. Okay. Is this the way? This might be the way. Yes, it is. Dang it. <laughs> and it does so much damage. Because I think I'm not... It's just that I'm not resisting. The other ones do just as much. It's just that I, I don't resist this one. Okay. It's a veritable puzzle, as you can tell. And going back and forth is also a pain. Although, and that is a part of the reason why I do want to clear out the all, all the all the traps, because that way I just don't. I'm not going to step on them as much. And where are we? As well in the Rat Hound King Lair, it's just caves. These are not caves. I mean, these are well, these are a lair. More mines? I'd expect so. Which means I'm gonna die at any moment because I think I don't have enough health to survive. Maybe I do. 
Okay, I can hear the red hounds. Let's go ahead and use one of these. Because that one I know tops me up. And let's go in. And there's the rat hound king. It's the king of the rat hounds. That doesn't look like a rat hound to me. Excuse me, sir? Ma'am? Hi. You find yourself face to face with a towering muscular man. In fact, describing him simply as muscular is a great understatement because this man has the physique of someone chiseled out of a giant block of granite. One of the two rat hounds by his sides, the, uh, actually by his side, the gray furred Goliath which stares at you with its hollow eyes, might as well have come from the same block, judging by its powerful bone chilling appearance. There is another rat hound present beside the two guard hounds, yet its purpose is a different one. Its glossy hide is proudly being worn by this king of the rat hounds, a title which he uses to introduce himself once he addresses you with his cavernous voice. The description here makes it sound as if there are three rat hounds, and one of them doesn't have a skin. Or does the game say glossy hide? Doesn't have hide. Yeah, so skin, hide, same thing. It's not the fur, it's the hide. So it's a, it's a hideless, it's basically all the bones and muscles showing the uh, rat hound, which uh, somehow is less scary than the uh, r super rat hound that we have over here. Who dares disturb the rat hound king? Tell me your name or I'll have my rat hound stare you apart. Speak. Uh, I'm Kerry. I go where I please. And if you think you can scare me with those two puppies, you've got another thing coming. Ha! What a, That was pitiful. The Red Hound unleashes an almost deafening, blood-curdling roar that makes the Red Furred... Red Furred... That's, that's two R's, I think. Red Hound bow down its head in submission, while the old grey one by his side starts howling in unison. This is how you drive fear into a man's heart. This is how to make enemies turn to mere hoppers, ready to be butchered. Your weakly voice is no more fierce than a pup squealing for his mummy's milk. Still, you have avoided my traps and managed to reach my lair, which is something only the most cunning can do. I respect that, and is the reason why your bones are not being gnawn, gnawed by my rat hounds. Yet, why are you here? I was just exploring these caves, nothing else. <laughs> just exploring? If you say so. I find your visit quite amusing, so I will allow you to stay. But how? But know that if you disrespect me or my rat hounds, you will be punished. Now, my amusing guest, let's speak. And he laughs. No, uh, he, what he means by that is, uh, I will answer your questions. That's what he means. How did you become the rat hound king? Become? I have always been the rat hound king, for it is in my blood. These rat hounds here are my brothers and sisters, my pack. Make no mistake, I may be their king and my will may be above theirs, but our respect is mutual and our bound, or bond is strong. We hunt together, eat together, and we kill all those who dare disturb us together. And who might those be? Evil men and women of Camp Hathor, of course. They despise us, want us gone from this world. Those people have no respect for me, my rat hounds, my land. They call themselves hunters, but I spit on that. They're nothing but weaklings, cold diggers who think they have it all figured out. I'll kill every single one of them who dares my who dares enter my land. I'll just point out that it's all figured out is a, uh, a very modern way of saying you have your life uh, sort of... You are past your existential dread stage of your life, which is a very modern thing. Not that people didn't have existential de dread in the past. It's just saying that this, uh, this sounds more, I, I know, you know, I, I, I paid my student debts. I have uh, health insurance and I'm good to go. I have it all figured out. That's what he means. And these gold diggers, they got it. They got it. And I'm saying that as if I were American, to be honest, because we don't have student debt here in Portugal or health insurance. Well, we do have health insurance, we just have health care and we don't need the insurance if we don't want to uh, so Camp Hathor I need to go there uh, it's a small camp of miners turned hunters and it is north of my lair there are many and they have weapons but they are weaklings both in body and in mind he spits on the floor beside him weaklings I say you sound as if they have been causing you a lot of trouble do I 
Maybe because they have. I only uh, wanted to be left alone and live with my pack on our land. But those of Camp Hathor just wouldn't leave me be. Especially one man, their former leader, Gideon. The name is snarled rather than spoken normally. Because he was speaking normally before. And a deep angular frown appears on his forehead like a crack on a smooth rock. So his forehead was smooth. Okay. That coward, that pathetic excuse for a man. He claimed I was trespassing their hunting grounds and stealing their game while it belonged to me long before they stopped digging coal and decided to turn to hunting. My rat hounds, my dirty rat hounds, were vermin to him, insisting they were attacking and hurting the pl people of Camp Hathor. Fool! But that fool is now dead. Not by these hands, sadly. What is even sadder is that his successor is acting in his footsteps. Still, I'm sure I I'm more clever and I am more strong. I mean, I'm not I'm not much cleverer or stronger. Cause no, no, he can be he's he's stronger. It's just not necessarily cleverer because he's not saying the words properly. They'll never defeat the Rat Hound King. Although that that would have been funny or that would have been I guess appropriate if uh, the the text would be a little bit less. He's, he speaks very well, except all of a sudden he doesn't. But, yeah, that's what I mean. So about Camp, Camp Aethor. Yeah, what is it? Have you tried making a truce with Camp Aethor? Don't be a fool. There's no way I'll negotiate with those honorless weaklings. I'm not putting myself in the position of a stunned crawler prey. Just waiting for a final stab to end my life. Yeah, tell me about it. They showed their true face to me a long, long time ago. What if I can help? You know, act like a mediator. I mean be the mediator. As you said, Gideon is dead, and now the new leader could perhaps listen to what you have to say? You can't have it, you can't say it won't it work until you've tried it. He pauses to think, and you can almost hear his mind's gears turning inside his head, which does sound like the, he's supposed to be dumb. It just doesn't come across as it, as it in, the, uh, the, in his lines, but yeah, I think he's supposed to be dumb. After a bit of thought, a smile surfaces on his face, and he gives you an answer you were waiting for. What you say is true. Perhaps... Perhaps Gideon's successor is someone who can be reasoned with. Hmm. I accept your proposal. You will negotiate with Camp Hathor in my name, as you suggested. My demands are simple. I just want them to leave me alone. There will be no trespassing on my land, and that includes these caves to the south of Camp Hathor and the south part of hunting grounds across the river. And that's that. I don't want to see them there. If they can, if they can agree to that, then I won't kill their hunters on sight anymore. I will remove my traps near their land and won't disturb them in any way. Tell them they have a word of a king. Great, I'll go talk to Edgar, their current leader. Even though... I, I, I don't know that, do I? I mean, it's, I think it's obvious that this mission was I was supposed to go to Camp Hathor before coming here. Uh, but I like that I got introduced introduced to the Red Hound King first. Because that is more th in theme, I suppose, with me helping him out. Just know this, he says. I'm not letting my guard down for a second. If I sense any trickery, any trickery at all, you will all die. Even if an agreement is made, I will still keep my eyes wide open. I'd be a fool otherwise. One more thing before you leave. I think now's a good time to tell you about the hidden passage that allows you to avoid all my traps. <laughs> Did you really think I could walk through the labyrinth every time I want to go out? <laughs> It's right in front of my lair. Check the north wall. You'll find it there. Now go, Carrie. I, I, you, how, people know names that they shouldn't know. I didn't. I never told you my name. But anyway. Uh, so do you have a, a real name? Because obviously, Rat Hound King is not real. Or name. A real name? This is my real name. Yes. No, it isn't. I just said it. It isn't. It's, it's not real. Or a name. I'm the Red Hound King. That's actually title. If you put a the, you're you're. That's that is, that's a title. And it was obviously it is a title. Always has been. I always have been. He says. Always will be. Even if I had a normal name, I should have quoted real instead of normal. But anyway, like John or Jack or whatever, it would mean nothing. For my Red Hounds don't talk, and I personally don't care what other humans call me. I rarely even talk to other humans, and when I do, it's usually right before I take their life. <laughs> so don't ask me stupid questions anymore. I know. Is there a red hound queen? I'm sorry. It's more stupid questions. 
No, there is not. No woman I've ever met was worthy of being my queen. He takes a short pause, but quickly proceeds. Well, except for one. There is a young woman in Camp Hathor named Sardine. Sorry, Sarine. She is the only one worthy of mention in that wretched place. She is stronger than most men. Cunning, ferocious, beautiful. She would make a perfect woman to bear my children. He grins. Okay. Perhaps she would. I don't know. Would you really desire this woman? The ex what exactly do you mean? Maybe I can bring her to you. Every king needs a queen. Well, let's go with that. Really now? And why would you want to do that? Bringing her here would certainly be against her will. Oh, I didn't know that. You didn't say anything about that. And that also uh, that alone makes the task difficult, considering the thing I just told you about her. Uh, yep. Yeah. I suppose I can't back down now. Uh, which is a shame, because... Yeah, there it is. Because that would have added the quest, and then the quest... Nah, I don't I don't want the quest. Uh, so what's with all the traps around the lair? The traps are there to prevent intruders from getting into my lair. Many wander into these caves, but not many are cunning enough to survive. I've also built a labyrinth below to make things even more difficult. So far, no one has been able to avoid the traps and navigate the labyrinth. No one but you. Oh, but I didn't avoid the traps. <laughs> Yeah, it's, just, it's fine. You're good on that. Uh, can you teach me anything about traps? I have no intention of doing anything like that. The only person I'd ever teach what my trapping skills is my heir. Teach me, she says. Uh, do you have anything to trade? Trade? No. I have everything I need right here in my lair. Yeah, that's... I said, do you ha We're not talking the same language, mate. I'm sorry. I said, do you have anything to trade? I didn't say, do you want to see my things to trade? Oh, he's upset. This is why you save all the time. Not that I would have stolen that, but still, I would, I would, I would like to check. He's probably going to be upset if I come here. Hey, buddies. Hi. Just uh, checking out. You got tents? These dogs have tents. Okay, so where is... There is the secret passage. And I'm pretty sure I only saw it because, I, because he told me about it. But this is good. We know the way. And we don't need to go through that nightmare. Or that nightmare, for that matter. Good stuff. Huh. And back to the dark place. Okay. So, we didn't mark any of these. That connects over there. So, it's easy to tell. And we have a passage over there, which means... Well, I could go... I could go to the, um... Uh, junkyard. Yeah. Because I, I, we leveled up now. We should be more capable of dealing with the, um... With that other bad person. Also, I really want to get another side bend. The thing that I didn't have. This thing over here. Headband. Uh, because I lost the one that I got over here. It was so nice, but I didn't save. We need to save all the time. Always save. Always save. It's just how it goes. I, I think in the first game, I killed the Red Hound King. In, the first, uh, in my first campaign, I should say. Uh, I killed him. And if I remember correctly, it was a nasty battle. Really hard battle. Oh, Crawler Stinger over here. Five pound, five, whatever that is. It's probably pounds. I, I can carry, with three strength, I can carry 130 somethings. Yeah, it's probably pounds. Uh, so, I'm removing that passage because we came from there. Oh, uh, no, actually, you know what? I'm going to add it again. Because we're going back. Now that we have 65 points in lockpicks, we're, we're lockpicking. We're going back to that place that has a 65 thing. And we're going to figure it out, and it's all going to be amazing. So, can I just go? I can just go. Okay. So, there's no way to get in there, because that thing doesn't open. We did get this, which is good. There's two lockers over there that I didn't... Somehow didn't open? Yep. Just didn't open those. Okay. It's fine. It's good enough for me. The problem is... The entrance is probably not through here. It's probably through the other way. But having the um, that item might be necessary. The item, this item down here, the utility bot remote control, might be necessary for what I'm about to do. Now, what am I looking for over here? Nothing. I don't know. What, I thought I was. I thought I was gonna look at something. Lock picking 65. I only need this. Which is good. 
Oh, I remember what I was looking, gonna look at. This. So that's a passage. This over here has a passage? This is where we are. Oh yeah, it has a passage. Because this is not where we are supposed to go. So that wall doesn't need to go down. We have a steel cat over here and a hand grenade recipe. And this doesn't go anywhere. Okay, it's a good thing. Yeah, that wall doesn't need to go down. And this has passages. So there's one passage that goes that way. There's a one that goes another one that goes this way. I wonder the one I wonder which one I took. Or maybe both of them lead to the same place. Let's find out. Also, I thought... Oh, right, right, right. Oh, yeah, see, okay. So, see, yeah, okay. I see what it is. I thought, I did indeed think that that would be the place to go into that place back there. But it is not. And that passage is this one that we never took. Which means that we might have been able to get in there without going to the Red King and leveling up. Un unless, of course, this is not what I think it is. Which it very well might not be. There's a Lake Poppy over there. I was going to say, this is getting very quiet. There's going to be death crawlers around. But as it turns out, there are none. Oh, there's definitely something back here. Okay, I'm missing something. That place has to be openable with a robot. Let's give it a try. Also, let's mark this as a passage because there is one. I wonder if it's marked. No, it isn't marked on a map. Passage. There's a passage that way, isn't there? Hmm. They must connect somehow. Okay. So let's figure this out. I have no idea how to do this. I have no idea where to begin it, e e even. Although, no, there's no although. I mean, an interesting way to make the puzzle would be to force you to go outside and use the use this thing from here. Because the power outlets or power boxes don't really do anything, as far as I can tell. Unless... Aha. Uh -huh. That's what that is. Did you not do that? That's interesting. Hmm. So it's number eight. I can I can use that. It's kind of tricky using the. Uh, there it is using the uh, right-click menu. Okay, we figured it out. It doesn't mean it's solved, but it's probably a, a question of going back and forth. There's a desk. There's a power box. Hmm. Probably gonna need to operate this one. Okay. Yeah, using the number 8 on the keyboard is a lot easier. If I do, the, do it like this. There's the box over here. Interesting. Oh, because I didn't... Yeah. That turns that on. What, I, what am I missing? There's no options right now. I wonder if I can do anything with the desks. We can't, by the way. The marks on the floor might tell me where to go, but there's no options. I basically b go to wherever I can. Yeah, we can't go back there. And of course, at normal speed, this robot is extremely... Ext extremely slow. Oh, now we have an option. Because that disabled something. Interesting. 
interesting. Okay. That makes a, no a noise. The other ones don't, as far as I can tell. Maybe it's because it's closer, closer to me. Oh no! No 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 no! Oh, it goes around. Okay. <sighs> For a moment there, it scared me. That disables the last one, which allows me to. Oh no! no I can. Oh no! No, that doesn't, that doesn't matter, yeah. So I need to disable that one. I don't actually know which one disables that. Okay, that sounds like, yeah, this sounds like a sort of a puzzle room where I could theoretically get, get them all disabled. And that is the power generator. I need to right click there it is and then I can activate it or whatever and that thing is now unlocked we did it holy balls well that's gonna be that for today I'm Colonel RPG and this has been Underrail Expedition I really hope you've enjoyed it and if you did go ahead and leave a comment like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later but above all thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next episode bye bye